All right, so I'm up at l &H Industrial and I was picking up some things. I ran into Curtis Parker who owns Firefighter Pressure Washing here in Savannah, Georgia. And I've seen his trucks before, but this one caught my eye. And so I had to have him, you know, walk me through what he's done and it's pretty impressive. So Curtis, if you will, tell us what you did. So on this truck, on this particular truck, I just got an old F350 99 from a buddy of mine. We actually traded trucks. Um, he needed a truck for his lawn care business that I had and we traded for this and he gave me some cash in hand. Okay, so, but this is a good story. You had a beautiful truck. He had, this was his lawn spraying, like he was doing a bunch of spraying. He decided he was gonna outsource that, more profitable for his business to do it that way. And you got three grand on top of the truck. Right. And, and we were just talking about how guys will go into debt to get, you know, set up to get out there and start washing. And we both kind of agree it's not the best way to go. I don't believe in debt. You know, if you can piece things together and make it work, that's the best way to start off profitably so you're not in the hole from day one. And real quick, if you're watching this badass truck walkthrough and don't currently have software to help run your business, or maybe you've got a CRM that is bending you over every single month, then try Quote IQ for $1. Test it out. See if it's a good fit. Try every feature, including InstaQuote and Insta Schedule, which allows your customers to quote themselves based on your pricing and your schedule. You can get more information at MyQuoteIQ.com. This particular truck, I wanted to be able to tote more water, go to bigger jobs. Um, some of this equipment, because I've been doing a long time on the side, is equipment I had, and some of it's new. So um, the electric hose reel stacks were used. Put them on there to get use out of use out of them. Um, new manual reel, and then the two smaller tanks were new. Bigger 525 I have on an old trailer. And then, of course, um, even though it's not aluminum, the bed itself, I do like using the aluminum boxes because once the bed rusts out, you know, I really found that these come in handy. And then on here, um, actually, the gas soft-washed machine is a used, just old P36 that I have. And I also have a 7 GPM 12-volt um, in my toolbox. And then these just cheaper... 10 gallon minute machine and an 8 gallon minute machine. They're both new. Um, and where did these come from? Here at LNH. Okay. Actually, this one I bought at LNH, and this one I bought from another firefighter in Pooler who, brand new, never used it. As you can see, there were nine hours on it right. um, on an 8 GPM machine. Got a very good deal on it. I'm not and this one's only got 32. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. So these are basically brand new. Right. And as you can see, try to have no debt especially if you do this on the side. Um, and it makes a big difference, like we talked about, Mike, during your slow season. Yes. Um, and then here, just put a fuel cell on it, a couple marine-grade batteries. There's also a marine-grade battery actually in the truck because the reels are wired to that battery. Okay, so nice. I found it. They'll run faster and stronger when the truck's running, but at the same time, if the truck's off, I know i got a deep cell battery in right. the truck, so I don't have to worry about killing that. And here, just kind of everything I need. 12 volt system so it also can act as my 12 volt soft wash or my transfer right. so you can see i have some three some three valves on the back of the truck so i can transfer from tank to tank i've got it set up so i have one extra tank because i believe in a lot of downstreaming when necessary and only using my soft wash for roofs or when I and so i wonder is this like an old school thing because like you've been around a long time i've been around a long time probably 90% of what we do is downstreaming. And then again, soft washing for roofs Correct. and stucco and stuff Correct. like that when you really need to hit it hot. I wonder if it is an age thing. It's just kind of, yes, it's preference, but the older guys, they've cleaned a lot yeah. with a good downstream. Right. And I tell, I would tell a new guy getting in it, take advantage of buying a good downstream. Yeah. Don't buy the cheap ones, don't skip. Well, and that's again really something, you know, when people get in it, there's such a low barrier to entry as far as how much it costs people will skimp and they do and like case in point you've got an extra 12 volt because we know eventually that's going to go out and you need it so you got to have your backups well, it's not just the extra 12 volt it's learning to work on it you carry an extra pressure switch before you buy a whole new yeah. 12 volt <laughs> exactly right place the pressure switch yeah and it's like the good it's like the good downstreamers there's rebuild kits in here for the downstreamers right right and then if all possible there's duplicates of everything yep Okay, what's your soft wash gun of choice? Is that it? The what is that? A water the boss? Old school. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> the old school with a, a home built J rod, depending yep. on what I want. I love it. <laughs> I mean, this is nice and fancy and shoots. Yeah. 
this is easy. I can put it together. I know what I'm building out. Yeah. Um, so are you using this with the 12 volt or that's for the gas? I've found I can use it for both. But, you know, I've also got, you know, all the fancy ones. Right. You know, and I still find that you come out with the basic J rods for a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know, exactly you right. Your guns, your different links, things like that. You know, just if, if at all possible, either duplicate or quick fix on the job right kind of stuff and are you using the remotes a lot is this a lot Down, okay for downstream remotes i found it's I, I believe that with the downstreamer for the pressure washing the next thing i would tell you to buy other than a hose reel would be a remote system it saves you significant time right back and forth time. yep and whether it doesn't matter there's a couple of different companies that make them i would tell a new guy definitely buy a remote system make it your second or third thing that you invest in. I love it. I mean, it's definitely something like that. That's it, man. That's it. And you've got just all the regular accoutrement that you need. Uh, Carry two service cleaners. Yeah. Once again, there's even some repair stuff in there for the bars. Right. And then... Um, Degreaser. Degreaser. Um, used to do the hood cleaning, like we said, so we always had to have hot machines. But for most of your exterior grease cleanup, quality degreasers will take you just as far yeah absolutely and then of course uh as you can see i carry different pump up sprayers because i don't want to mix sh with a rush remover because you learn the hard way yeah that makes an acid base that will off gas you and put you in the hospital or that one the hard and way. you know because you probably deal with stuff like yes. that all the time so in your real job it, like i would tell guys too once you start playing with chemicals uh be able to know exactly whoever picks up a pump up sprayer what's in it for that that was for that yeah exactly great tips in. so any tips for new guys getting into the business other than be smart with your money don't go too into debt learning your chemicals for safety and it will save you time on the job and upsells right upsells. specialty upsells. chemicals can make you a ton of money rust removal oxidation right. removal okay one last question for you I know you've got a full-time job. This is secondary, but still from this setup, I would guess you're capable of doing quite a lot. What kind of marketing, if any, are you doing to generate business? I just post on Facebook. It's just on my Facebook page. And of course I have a web page. Right. Of course I've hired SEOs in the past. Um, word of mouth is still the best. And an honest handshake, doing doing someone what you would want done to yourself. Yep. Just be honest. Um, Unfortunately, when you do that, you're going to have some good days, you're going to have some bad days. Right. Some days you're going to make more than others. But I promise you, if you follow through where you tell someone, they will always refer you. Absolutely. And that word of mouth is it's too hard to be. Yeah. Oh. Hard to be. Well, man, and with that handshake, appreciate, appreciate your time. Take you. care, brother. Yes, sir.